I want to talk about the reality of charging out on the motorway when you've got a last minute trip and you've got some distance to go. So stay tuned. Hi, so welcome back to the channel. So let's talk about what happened and it's basically an experience I think what's worth share, like sharing with you. I couldn't film at the actual time um, because it was very last minute and there was you know good reasons why that I didn't. But I just want to explain to you what actually happened to me. So I had a phone call and it was from my dad and he basically wanted to go and see his mum who's in a care home um, and he's got a bad leg and I, as you do, do the right thing and you offer to drive the person to go and see them so I had a chance to go and see my nan. But regardless of that, imagine the last minute trip that you've got to do where you know it's about a 220 mile around trip, your car's capable of doing anything from 160 to 180. Um, and you already know straight away then you're going to have to charge. So I jumped in the car, I collected my dad and we set off and we drove all the way there on obviously the full charge that was in the car. Brilliant. Quite chilled out, quite relaxed, all good. So we get there, we do, we visit and everything else, we get back in it. It's a hot day so the air conditioning needs to be running. So we, so I, I already just before we leave, I actually start planning and there's no charges locally to where we were visiting. That's quite sort of a shame as it's a big town, but that point you kind of have to sit there going, right, okay, where can we go? And there is services on the way back and I could have got to the first services quite easily. So the plan was, let's go. So we got there and the charges are both free. Ecotricity, I've never used them before. App was already downloaded on my phone. Turn up. Basically, you scan a code via your phone and you plug it in and it starts charging and it's just 45 minutes and it's supposed to be a fast charger. Bonus. Thinking to myself, that's great. That gives me, you know, it's going to at least get me to 80%. It's all going to be great. Then after that, I can just drive home. So plugged in, set charger up, chilled out, had no experiences of any problems so far. Go and grab a coffee. Sat, enjoyed the coffee, 45 minutes is up, return back to the car. Now in this time, there's two charge points and another Renault Zoe is charging next to me. So that charge is taken. So I, I unplug it, switch on the car, and I've only gained about 30 to 40 miles. And I'm going, this can't be right. Surely this can't be right. So I thought, well, we've got plenty of time. I'm not in a rush now. I'll click charge again, but I'll stay inside the car. So I went through the app again, did everything you're supposed to do it starts charging. A couple of minutes later, it stops charging. Hey, what's going on? Then it starts charging and it does it again and again and again. And then eventually I get the sort of uh, red warning come up on the dash to say uh, unable to charge. Something very similar to that. I'm sure if you Google it, you've seen it before. And they're going, hey, uh, there's a problem. Is it with my car? Is it with the charger? I don't know. So I think I don't want to risk doing anything else wrong. So I Googled it and the one thing it said was, if that comes up, it can do with an earth inside the charger. So I was like, okay. And it recommends locking your car, walking away for five minutes, your key fob out the way, and then coming back and unlocking it. That seems to reset it. But at this point I was like, right, I wanna get to at least the next services because it's the only one on the way back. The range in the car at the time indicated I'd just make it home, but not far enough to drop my father off and get back. But worst case is I just go home and stick a little bit of charge in it. But I thought if I can get to the services, happy days. I've got to try this again. So we set off and we're nice and sort of cruising, we're chilling and the good old Renault Zoe does its thing. It clocks the miles back as you're going, especially if you're driving sort of quite economically. But I still think it's not worth the risk. Why take the risk? Let's try and charge again. So I turn up to Cambridge Services and there's two more eco points, uh, eco tricity points. I was like, okay, let's try this again. Pull into the first bay, plug the car in, use the app and it's charging. And it seems to be charging quicker. I was like, yes, brilliant. Go and get another drink, chill out, don't worry about it. So I went and got a drink. A e-golf turns up and I can see where I'm drinking this drink. I can see the charge points. So a little bit in the distance, but I can see the charge points. A Yeah, an e-golf turns up. Guy plugs into that, gets out, he goes and does his thing. Everything's still fine. And the, the, on the, the beautiful thing about the app is it tells you your sort of like your charger, but you get 45 minutes. And in my opinion, you need longer, at least an hour, but it gives you 45 minutes and it just ticks down the timer. It tells you how many kilowatts it's delivered and how much you're spending. So I was thinking, at least I know the power's going in. I'm keeping an eye on it this time, all good. So I'm sitting there and I'm standing over my car, drinking my coffee. And then 
a guy arrives, I'm guessing, well, I know now he had another electric car, but I thought, oh, he must be interested in electric cars because he was looking at the cars and he was looking at the charge points. And then he starts folding his hand, looking like he was in the biggest Mardi in the world, folding his hands, staring at the services. And every couple of minutes, he'd unfold his hands, look at the sort of the counter on the Ecotricity um, charger, and stand there and fold his arms again. You're going, well, you feel a little bit intimidated because at that point you realise he's waiting to get on the charger. But you're all in the same boat, and you're thinking, God, dude, you need to calm down, mate. Because he looked really, really stressed. So he's still there, and I've still got, at this point, probably half an hour left of charging. And in that half an hour, another car arrives, another Renault Zoe, and it decides to park in between the e-golf and my car, right in the middle. And I thought, God, that looks a bit tight. And those two start talking. Obviously, that guy's going, I'm on the charger next, blah de blah de blah And they're both there checking the chargers, and they're going... I understand we're all in a rush and we all want to go. And they've obviously, you know, there is not enough network. We need those ecotricity chargers. We need like probably eight to ten of them, even if it's at the back of the car park. So there's no more of this sort of big queuing because it takes longer than filling up a car at the end of the day. So anyway, the time ticks away. The guy's still standing there huffing and puffing. I walk over to it, literally with a minute to go. Brilliant, stop charge, unplug it, get in my car. Now I'm thinking 80% charge at this point, it's got to be, right? It's a fast charger. No, <laughs> 70 miles, you get 70 miles out of it. Now I appreciate mine is the only, the 20 or 22 kilowatt charge sort of rate it will take, but I expected a little bit more. But hey, it's a big learning curve and you've got to remember that, but it was plenty of charge for me to get home, drop my dad off, plug in, all is good. But, the ecotricity, come on, you need to put some more charge points out there. People driving electric cars, we all want electric, we all want to charge. It's a little bit rude, and I know it's about personality, but it's a little bit rude. And I understand the experienced people on here will say, oh, you need CCS and blah, 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 blah. Well, you know, my Renault Zoe, and it's a learning curve, and I'm basically now in my head, so whenever I go on a long journey, when I hit under 100 miles, I need to start planning my charge point. That means if I'm doing a very long journey, like for me, say, to Scotland, that's potentially four or five hours, it's going to take me hours longer. So it's a big eye opener, but doable, but you've got to give yourself a lot of time. Um, so that was my experience. So I hope you enjoyed sort of listening to me rabbiting on, and I hope it's going to help people make a decision if it's they want electric car or don't, and the understanding of patience. You've got to be so relaxed when I think coming down to electric to plug in and just think, oh, I'm going to charge my car, it's going to take me a lot longer. And the whole buying a flask of coffee and taking a few nibbles, actually, you need to do that if you've got a long journey because it's an expensive day. Um, the bill side of things, I'd say overall using the charger three times, I know two were pretty much a failure, probably overall was about eight, nine quid is what it cost me. So not the best either, but I understand it's motorway services. So it's an experience. I wanted to share that with you guys. I'm going to do a bigger and better test soon because hopefully when I can get on camera. And my plan is I live in the Midlands, hopefully to head up to Wales, the other end of Wales, stay in a hotel with a charge point. And if all can work out well, I should get, if not there most of the way, and then charge overnight and do the same coming back. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of experience I have coming up doing that. But anyway, uh, thanks for joining me along the journey. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. A thumbs up's always nice. Some nice comments, I always like to see them. But thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely day. Take care. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.